What's going on guys, this is Sean with MTC. Welcome back to my channel and to the new viewers out there. You guys already know, welcome. In today's video, I'm bringing yet another edition of Brand vs. Brand. Now initially when I did the first one where I put the Uniqlo oversized t-shirt up against the Cole Buxton's oversized t-shirt, my intention was never to create this as like a series or anything, but from seeing the feedback that I got on the first one, it seemed like it helped a lot of you guys out there in finding that best oversized tee on the market and it was you guys just loved it so as long as it is beneficial and informative for you guys and helps you out you guys know i'm all for it so i want to make this a series so with that said if there's any other suggestions on brand versus brand type of videos you guys want me to make make sure you guys leave that suggestion down below and i'll definitely put that in the book so in today's video Guys, I'm putting the Uniqlo oversized t-shirt, which was the winner from the previous video. And by the way, if you guys didn't catch that video, I'll definitely make sure to link that down below. But I'm putting that t-shirt up against the great tee from Weekday Company. Now, this is another popular oversized t-shirt on the market right now. So we're gonna break it all down. Pricing, durability, the sizing, the fit, everything to give you guys a little bit more of an insight on what I think is the best oversized t-shirt on the market right now. So guys, before we even dive into that, make sure you guys click that thumbs up button down below. You guys know how far that goes in getting this video out to more people. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe and click on that notification bell so you guys don't miss any more men's fashion content from me every Sunday at 8 p.m. So with that said, and with that, all of that out of the way, we're gonna dive straight into the topic of today's video and breaking it all down. Now, similar to the first video, I am going to be comparing size medium in both of these t-shirts just to stay consistent, but I will be bringing in a size large in the Uniqlo t-shirt and you guys will see kind of why later on in the video. But the first category we'll be tackling is sizing and fit and also measurement. Now, I'm not going to touch on measurements uh, that much because I think the difference is, is very drastic and you can clearly see it. Now, in both of these shots, I have a size medium on in both the Uniqlo t-shirt and the weekday t-shirt and you guys can already see how much bigger the great tee from weekday is compared to the Uniqlo's oversized tee like this was obviously made for two different types of people like I would love to see who's the, who weekday modeled this one after and who Uniqlo models their mediums after because it's so drastic the we, the shirt from weekday it just came so much longer it's definitely wider and the sleeves are much longer so everything about it came fairly big for it to be a size medium so i would definitely have you guys consider sizing down now if this is how you guys like the shirt to fit i mean go true to size that's fine now in my previous video where i compared the Uniqlo t-shirt to Colt Buxton, I said that you could size up to a large in the Uniqlo t-shirt to kind of get that similar look to the Colt Buxton t-shirt. Now, in this case, you guys can size up to a large, but it won't come anywhere close to the medium of the weekday t-shirt. Now, that's just how, how much bigger this one is. So I would definitely recommend sizing down for this one. Um, but again, if this is what you're into, definitely go true to size. But I just think I usually wear a medium in all of my oversized t-shirt, but this one just came a little bit too big. But it does it does go through a little bit of shrinkage now in the wash. I'll touch more on that in the third category, but yeah, sizing and fit wise, it is much, much bigger. Now where this could actually be beneficial is from hearing the feedback from my last video, I found that a lot of the Uniqlo t-shirts don't work for taller guys out there. Like if you're six foot one and like taller, the, even if you size up to an XL or double XL, the length of the Uniqlo t-shirt tends to fall short. That's what I've heard from a lot of tall guys out there. So the Uniqlo t-shirt doesn't work for them. Now, when it comes to the weekday t-shirt, it should work perfectly fine. Like the, the length is there, the width is there, so it'll compensate for you taller people out there. And of course, as you guys can see here, this is the one for me and I'm about 5'7". So if I size down to a small, I think it would work fine. So I think 
the great tea from weekday will compensate for those taller people, which a lot of them had issues with the uh, Uniqlo t-shirt. So this could be kind of like the positive side of having it come a little bit bigger. Now we're jumping straight into the second category, which is pricing. And I know this is a really important category for you guys to consider when you guys are shopping. So when it comes to the Uniqlo t-shirt, it'll run you about $14.90. As you guys know from my previous video, it is really, really cheap. And for that price, you're getting a very good t-shirt. Now the great tee from weekday, it's going to run you about $32. Now on a side note, I had to order mine from ASOS just because uh, company weekday doesn't directly ship it to where I live. And I live in the US and Pennsylvania. So this might be the case for everybody living in the US. Now I could be wrong about that, but I personally had to go through ASOS and on ASOS it was $32. Now I don't know if it's any cheaper on the actual website, but for the purpose of today's video, it was $32 compared to the $14.90. So it's, we're looking at about double the price of the Uniqlo t-shirt. So the question we ask ourselves here is, is that extra $15 worth paying to get the great t-shirt from weekday over the Uniqlo oversized t-shirt? And my answer to that is yes, absolutely worth that extra 15 because I think with the extra $15 you're paying, you're getting a very high quality t-shirt. The material is there and the fit is there and just the weight of the t-shirt. The weight of the t-shirt is not too, too much heavier than the Uniqlo t-shirt, but it is noticeably heavier and the material is significantly softer and the ripped collar, it all works together for it to fit really well and to fall on your body much better than the Uniqlo t-shirt in my opinion. So, and this fabric is just gonna get softer after every wash and we'll go more into that in the durability category, but you're definitely getting a very high quality t-shirt for that extra $15 you're paying. And this isn't something I could I could say about the uh, Cole Buxton and the Uniqlo because Cole Buxton t-shirt was running you about a hundred bucks and that's a really really big difference but when it comes to the great tee from weekday and the Uniqlo oversized t-shirt the price is fairly similar to a point where I could say yes pay that extra $15 to get the great tee from weekday I think it's really really worth it now this is only if your finances allow always keep that in mind I don't want you guys buying things that you guys can't afford just because some guy on the internet told you to um, and just because I prefer it doesn't mean you guys should go get it if you guys can't spend 30 32 dollars on a t-shirt definitely go with the Uniqlo t-shirt I mean there's nothing wrong with the Uniqlo t-shirt I still wear mine it will last you a while and $14.90 you really cannot go wrong so but if it came down to it I would say pay that extra $15 if you can to get the great tee from weekday. Now the last category we'll be tackling in today's video is the durability of these t-shirts. Now for this category, both of them excel at, in this category. I think the durability on both are great. It's phenomenal. It la it'll last you a while as long as you take good care of it. They will both experience some shrinkage in the wash. I know the Uniqlo t-shirt does shrink up just a tad bit in length. Now it's not that noticeable if you're not paying attention to it, but I know I've, I have advised a lot of guys to size up if they want some room for it to do that. I always get a size large now in the Uniqlo t-shirt because I find that the length after it shrinks up just a tad bit, it works really, really well for me. And when it comes to the um, great tee from weekday, it does shrink up just a tad bit in length, which might even help a lot of you guys out there because the t-shirt just comes so long and so so big. So I think it actually benefits you from it shrinking up. But like I said, if you're not paying attention to, to it, it, you're not really gonna notice it. And when it comes to the durability of the great tee from weekday, the fabric comes much softer after every wash. And I know this was the case with the Cole Buxton t-shirt. So it's very similar in that aspect. Um, but you're not paying up to $100, $110 for it. So a $32 price point, like I said, it is very, very fair for that quality you're getting. So that's why I would have, like I advise you guys that if you can pay that extra 15 to get the great tea from weekday. And I know, um, to kind of go back on pricing, if you order on ASOS and you happen to be a student, I know they do a student discount as well. So that might also help you guys to kind of lower that price a little bit. But yeah, I definitely do think you're getting a very, very good t-shirt, high quality, something that's going to last in your wardrobe for a while. So you could definitely pick multiple up 
to kind of have it in your wardrobe or it's because it's not that expensive once you kind of wear through one you will you can definitely replace it without any issues so i really really like that about the great tee from weekday so i would even give the edge when it comes to durability to the great tee from weekday now comes the moment you guys are all waiting for the verdict for today's video and i'm definitely gonna have to give the edge to the great tee from weekday i just think at the price that you're paying just a 32 dollars mark you are getting such a great t-shirt that is very comparable to the um, Cole Buxton t-shirt which runs you about $100, $110. Of course, there are aspects to the Cole Buxton t-shirt that's slightly better than the great t-shirt in my opinion, but for that price you're paying, you are getting a phenomenal t-shirt and I think as long as you take good care of it, it's gonna last you for a very, very long time. So you don't even have to worry about like replacing it like every two months. It's gonna last you a while, trust me on that. So I really do think the great tee right now is like in terms of price, the value, the quality, it is the best oversized t-shirt on the market. So so, um, I mean, that's my opinion at the end of the day, and that's a, like that's kind of my thought. So, if you guys still want to rock with the Uniqlo tee, I mean, go for it. Be my guest. I, that's totally fine. I don't have any issues with that, just because I love the Uniqlo t-shirt myself. And if you guys are rocking something more expensive, like the Cole Buxton t-shirt, not a problem at all. You guys know how much I love Cole Buxton, but the great tee from Weekday, I highly, highly recommend it, and that's gonna be the winner for today's video. And that is gonna wrap up the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you guys did, always, always let me know by clicking that thumbs up button down below. Like I always say, it goes a long way for this channel and for this community. And I really, really appreciate all of you guys who take some time to click that thumbs up button down below. So make sure you guys do that. And guys, comment down below. Do you guys have any of these t-shirts? Do you guys agree with me? Or do you guys actually think the Uniqlo t-shirts are better than the weekday t-shirts? Make sure you guys let me know down below and let's get connected and let's converse about it. And guys, if you're not following me over on Instagram just yet, make sure you guys go over there and follow me for daily vlog on the stories, more outfit pictures and outfit inspirations. I always link my uh, social media down in the description box. So go there, click on it, make sure you guys follow me, shoot me a message, let's get connected. Ask me any questions. We can talk about men's fashion, whatever you guys want. <laughs> let's get connected over there. And guys, with that said, if you guys watch this video all the way to the last bit, I love each and every single one of you and and I'll catch you guys in the next one.